A New York City couple, they found a way to save money on their wedding. So this is what they did. They charged their guests $333 for tickets to their wedding. The, and listen to this. The bride said people pay to go to a Beyonce concert because they know they're going to have an experience. So let's sell tickets for our wedding. And they said they ended up saving $70,000 in wedding expenses. Okay, and the, the thing about I, I, understand, I know weddings are expensive, but the second you compare yourself to Beyonce, I, I, it's, I, I'm over it, okay? <laughs> I am over the entire... I mean, what? You trying to bamboozle me. That's a bait and switch. You charge... When you charge people money for your wedding, that says to me, you can't afford to have that kind of wedding and you want me to finance it. That's what that says to me. You... And you think your wedding is gonna give me a beehive experience? <laughs> where's the... Where's the disco ball? Where's the... Where's the glitter horse, okay? Where is Blue Ivy, Did, you know, coming out with her mama? <laughs> That's what I want if I'm paying for your... So all you give me is $333 to watch you kiss your husband. And, and I get that people spend big bucks on music events, but telling me that riding around New York City for 12 hours in a double-decker bus is the same as a Beyoncé concert? I, uh, no, it's not. It's like... That's like saying riding the subway is the same as riding the space shuttle. <laughs> Completely different experience. So what I'd like is, like, just be honest with me. If you say, I, I, you know what, we're starting a house fund or a honeymoon fund, I would donate to that. I think that with these weddings, I understand wanting to have a big wedding, but I think people are getting too much into the narcissism of a wedding. Like, my wedding is so interesting, I can charge you money. So most of the time, if, even when you go to these weddings, if you look around, people are looking like, when's this wedding gonna start? This is the... <laughs> when are we gonna be able to eat? And then most people are like, when are we gonna start the wobble, okay? <laughs> $333. When I'm already, I'm just already spending so much money. You know how much... It, it, think back to the last wedding you went to, ladies. How much it costs to go to a wedding, even if you break it down? It's gonna cost about $200 for a cute outfit to go to a wedding, because I don't want to outshine the bride, but I need to turn a few heads myself. <laughs> At the wedding, there's single men there. It's about $100 for your shoes. I can't watch you step into new, your new life with old shoes on. I got to have some <laughs> cute shoes. $40 for nails and a pedicure. If the shoes are open-toed, I got to have... My toes got to be not looking like eagle's talons. So... <laughs> and then make up $25, because I know I'm going to need new lipstick. But, you know... And, and don't forget the girdle. The girdle, good girdle, $75 <laughs> right there. Good girdle. So you're trying to look snatched for this wedding and you got to get a gift. At this point, you... Uh, all you're getting is a two-slice toaster after $333. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Which I think you can find online for about $9, but I don't know. So I applaud this couple for their creativity, but if I don't charge... But I just say, you don't charge somebody to come to your wedding. By the time I pay $333, I'm too irritated to bless you on that day. <laughs> so I think that... The, that no, don't do that. We're gonna